Children and adolescents seem to communicate with their peers more electronically than face-to-face. -face. They chat with their friends through instant messaging, texting, social network sites such as Facebook and email. They are often multitasking. They may be texting several of their friends while chatting via instant message, at the same time listening to the latest music download. Their world is insular, in, con in constant motion and seemingly never ending. There is information sharing in these messages, which appear to be slightly exaggerated sound bites. Discussions about homework, spots, and the latest trends are shared. Drama and conflict are also included in these conversations, but there is no real means to resolve them. Their online conversations tend to be short, but the back and forth dialogue with the multitude of their friends can last for hours and simultaneously they are playing the latest video game. They also consider that playing online games with their friends is meaningful contact and conversations. This seems more like parallel play as opposed to really being engaged with one another. Not talking directly to each other has caused this means of discussion to become threatening. Online chats are communicated through keyboard strokes and can be discontinued at any time. It would be awkward to end face-to-face -face discussion abruptly. It is, it is probably even more uncomfortable for kids to begin a face-to-face -face discussion. Multitasking electronically creates anxiety and diminishes meaningful discussion and relationships. Many children and adolescents feel like their lives are empty if they don't devote an incoordinate amount of time each day to multitasking. It seems, to, it seems that the absence of moving from one text to another, then to an online chat, and then to one's Facebook page creates alarming boredom. This sense that there is n this sense that there is nothing to do eventually creates anxiety that causes emotional outbursts or increased sadness. What can parents do about this phenomenon? You can model effective communication with other adults in your life as well as your children. You can insist that they do not have earphones on while you are attempting to talk with them. You can also limit your children's time on these gadgets. You can spend quality time with your, ki uh, with your kids talking about how they feel about school, their future, and their relationships with you. Help them go beyond one word responses.